It's meat day! So that's break neck on the road. Not pretty fat women in fat checks. Last test is the truth that you ain't fucking with tests. Yes. Turn up the bass now. Go. I need the whole to hear my flow. Yeah. Act like you know. One, two, three. We been here before. I would get so dark that gum when you get too small. Getting high in it and poor contact high. Much. Let's go. I just didn't feel like I was holding it. They asked you to hold it so long in the commands. That was made me yeah. kind of taxed. And then I wasn't like as tight, like technical things as I wanted to be, but. We got bench and dead. But I could hit that, I could hit that outside the gym. Yeah, I just gotta fun. work on it. Oh. First meet. Come on, come on. Sadness that's raining. Spin it out, change it. Deads, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Come on. Oh, good, good. Hold it. Oh. I'm glad it didn't like tear it extra open the last rep, but yeah. I just couldn't hold it. I just couldn't grip it. Yeah, no, the, the way it's easy. Ah. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna eat, they're gonna do it. Right yeah, people are getting grossed. Yeah, I went in the bathroom to go like pain and I saw them like getting oh, tested. So we didn't get picked. They wouldn't no. drug test me. Yeah. They wouldn't yeah. drug test me when yeah. I missed like four lines. All your roids. <laughs> All my roids. At 84, 84 so plus, yeah. unless you're one. So, otherwise, you guys can go yeah, in. 63 I think you can. I'm not sure. Ladies and gentlemen, doing in category 63 for the weight class, Abigail Hammond. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm starting this page out again um, now that I have the help of Pat and his camera. So I'm not really sure how to use it, but we're gonna we're gonna try. But I just competed in my first powerlifting meet over the weekend, and I had so much fun. And I just wanted to put together a few tips and show some stuff for my meet. A few tips for your first powerlifting meet. Because there's a lot of stuff that would be good to know beforehand. That I wish I knew or I think would be helpful for you if you're interested in that. So, first of all, if you're on the fence about doing a powerlifting meet, I think you should just do it. Sign up for it. Don't wait to get stronger because you're always going to want to be stronger. And it's good. It's You learn so much at your first powerlifting meet. And when you're only comparing yourself to you, you'll get a lot out of it and you'll feel accomplished after. Just don't compare yourself to the other people there. A lot of people have been training and doing powerlifting competitions for years and they just have a lot of experience. My first tip is to get on a program. This one's kind of obvious, but you want to make sure you're confident, you're prepared, you peaked and you tapered before the meet. So get on a program, hire a coach. I highly recommend um, the Power Build. Power Build, they have the reactive program. That's new, that's 25 a month, but you get individualized programming based on your goals for your meat prep, based on your weight and other variables. So you could look into that or um, you could find a coach elsewhere. So get on a program. And the next thing I have is to practice the commands before the meet. Don't show up to meet day not knowing the commands. You want to know squat, bench, and deadlift. You want to know all those commands. You can go find YouTube videos on that. I'm not going to get into that here. But you want to make sure you're listening to the refs. Because even if you're strong enough to get the lifts in, you might still get no lift if you didn't listen to the commands. So make sure you know those. The next thing is to have a handler, a handler, is that how you say it? or a coach or whatever with you, someone with you by your side during the meet, helping you warm up, helping you put the plates on so you're not taxing yourself, helping you do all the math. So I had Pat help me out with that. So he was kind of calculating my warm up sets and then after I would lift, he would kind of help me decide what my next lift was gonna be. Cause it can be very overwhelming cause you're trying to lift, you're trying to do so many things at once. Um, I can kind of throw him my headphones after, he can chalk up my back. It's really helpful to have someone by your side instead of just going alone. So have someone with you. The next thing is regarding like fueling yourself on meet day. You want to, this can vary between people, but you want to like graze on food throughout the day, just like car, like carbohydrate kind of snacks. Um, banana, those have the electrolytes too. Get in your electrolytes. I just threw in a little um, electrolyte packet into my water. I had a couple of those. So you're not drinking as much water, but you're still getting hydrated so you don't have to pee all day. So get your electrolytes, graze on rice cakes, bananas, protein bars, just like small meals throughout the day. I don't like feeling overly stuffed. Make sure you bring your ID, like your license and um, a screenshot or the actual membership card for the for the federation you're doing so I was doing USAPL so I have my USAPL membership that's good for a year so I showed them a screenshot of that make sure you have that on meet day what you're gonna want to bring to meet day you're gonna want to have your singlet you're gonna want to have deadlift socks you're gonna want to have an undershirt your wrist wraps your knee sleeves your lifting belt and then 
bring bring like a nice sweatshirt or something to keep on sweatpants so you can stay warm beforehand and then just know that if you're not used to training with kgs like i always train with pounds it can really throw you off a meat day for example, when I was warming up with my deadlifts, I accidentally did my deadlift opener during my warm up because I thought it was like 30 pounds less and I was like, oh God. So that can be tough if you're not used to kgs. So that's just something to keep in mind. Overall, it's such a fun experience. No matter how strong you are, it's such a fun experience. It's such a positive environment. Everyone is just supporting you. Random people, you just have the, the common interest in lifting and powerlifting. Everyone's cheering you on, everyone's in a good mood, just listening to music, they have their pre-workout. Random people are cheering you on, clapping for you, the judges, everyone's great. So I highly recommend doing it. I'm going to try to compete again in 2021, maybe in around the summer time. But yeah, so if you're wondering if you should do your meet, do it. Do it now, sign up. It's worth it. I won't Thank run you guys. Away.